Hello everyone and welcome to another Wax Heaven video box break. Today we have a very special package from John from the UK who sent us five packs of Topsis Slam Attacks which is uh, from England. Hasn't been released in the US yet and uh, looks pretty badass. Just the packaging alone is pretty awesome. It's got Randy, uh, Randy Orton, Matt Hardy, John Cena and The Undertaker. And uh, I used to collect when I was a little kid, uh, the wrestling. I used to love watching it. Uh, it's gotten pretty terrible these days. I can't enjoy it. I mean, I keep up with the industry news just to see what, what's going on. But uh, not much else. So here we go. We got our first pack. And this is like a game. Kind of like magic, I guess. It's got instructions on how to play. I'm not going to be playing, but I will be checking out these cards. The first, right off the pack, I, or right off the start, I got a title card. So now I am the WWE Tag Team Champion. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, next card is Melina, a girl who uh, is pretty damn hot. I have to say, every time, I mean, I do watch Raw once in a while, and I see her dancing. I have to pretend like I'm not watching. Next card is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Then we have D'Lo Brown. Uh, he is the guy that paralyzed draws, in case you didn't know, back in the 90s. We got Maurice, a girl that I've never seen before. And the final card is a Brian Kendrick, uh, a wrestler I've never seen before either. So I'd have to say the best card of the pack, even though we got the Stone Cold Steve Austin, I mean, I'm a champion now. I'm a WWE cha Tag Team Champion. But that, that Melina, I mean, her face is, needs a little work, but uh, she is damn hot, I have to admit. And I hope my uh, Tatiana doesn't find me making this video. She's not going to be too pleased about it. All right, next, next up we have the instructions again. I got another title card. The title this time, I am, oh, hell yeah, I am now an ECW Champion. There you go. That's all I ever really wanted to be. Alright, we got Montel Porter. I've seen this guy. I don't know much about him. We got Lena Yada. Never heard of her. We got the Hardy Boys. Uh, Matt, uh, Jeff Hardy was recently involved in some controversy because the WWE put up a fake news article that he was found unconscious in his hotel room or something ridiculous. We have the Generation X, which looking at it today it looks very sad because look first of all look at Shawn Michaels his, his hairline is like gone and he's still trying to put off this DX characters but you know I it, you know I like Hunter and we got Lillian Garcia which is someone I've met very nice girl um, I met her be, uh, at a show or before the show she was the only uh, WWE employee who came to say hello to the fans before the start of a show so she was nice all right first card we got a special gold like a foil it's actually silver foil of John Morrison Look at that we have a guy named Elijah Burke I have no idea who he is we got the big show and I do know I have a weird story about him I had a a girlfriend back in early 2000 who went to school with him and told me the Big Show liked to expose himself in classroom, like in uh, sixth or seventh grade or something. Sounded pretty familiar. Oh, we got a, a legend here, Kurt Henning, Mr. Perfect. Uh, he passed away in Tampa. I worked in the funeral industry back when he died. Um, I, I almost had a chance to pick him up when he passed away, except he died in another uh, really far from me which wasn't part of the counties. I, I covered three counties and he was not in those three. We got CM Punk which was supposed to be the savior of ECW when ECW came back. He's didn't save shit. And we have Chavo Guerrero and Bam Neely. I have no comment. Chavo sucks. I don't know who Bam Neely is. So actually these cards from John from the UK have been pretty fun already. Uh, I will be posting up a, a little video and a link to John who writes for a pack a day, which is a, um, a blog who's never given me any love whatsoever. Occasionally they'll, they'll link to me a couple times, but they've never really given me any love. 
Now look at that. I am now a WWE Championship or champion. And that's an ugly belt. I'm not taking it. I'm going to keep my ECW belt. Now we got a really special card. It's like a refractor kind of a Randy Orton. He's gotten in trouble a few times for sexual harassment and all that. He's kind of a weirdo, to be honest with you. But that's an awesome card. Best card of the, the five packs. We got another a silver foil of JBL. I remember when he, his character first came out, he was like a cowboy. Like a real cowboy. He had like a fuck, like he would like herd wrestlers or something. It was weird. We got Ron Simmons. If you remember him, he was in the Nation of Domination and a few other teams. He's old now. He's got a shirt that says, damn, I don't know what that's about. But, uh, yeah, Nation of Domination was awesome. Kane has had one of the coolest entrance themes back in the day. His character kind of died after, like, two or three years. We got Superfly Jimmy Snuka. Now, that is an awesome card right there. If this wasn't a game, I'd actually be interested in collecting them. And we're now down to the last pack of Slam Attacks made by Tops. I'm going to say thank you to John. You uh, definitely uh, brought out a little fun in, in today's video. And uh, I will be sending you some packs and some other cards that I can find around here. Let me see. Last pack. Let's see if we can win one more belt. I've always wanted to be a four-time champion. Alright. Hey, Bailey. That's my dog. We got the Miz, who was on MTV's Real World New York. I freaking hate this guy. I don't know how he made it to wrestling. It's It kind of shows how bad wrestling is today when a guy from the real world is a semi-star. That's terrible. We have Vader, who also had a pretty awesome gimmick back in the 90s. Uh, he had that big thing on his head that would blow out smoke. Back, uh, he used to wrestle in NWA and all that. We got Tony Atlas, the guy from the 80s, or maybe even the 70s. I'm not really sure. I remember him. Uh, he comes to the ring with, a f I think, uh, I can't even remember who he comes to the ring with anymore. I don't really care about him. Oh, Nikolai Volkov from the USSR. That is awesome. I got to admit, these cards are pretty badass. We got a, although we did just pull a double foil card of JBL. And the last card is Finlay, a guy I cannot stand. But uh, he's pretty cool, I guess. He stuck, he stuck kind of like defended WWE during the Chris Benoit disaster. So without a doubt, the best card here is this refla uh, refractor type of card of um, Randy Orton. Let's see if I can find the name of it. No, can't find the name. We'll just call it a refractor, but these are awesome cards. I want to thank John from the UK for sending them. And uh, keep reading WaxHeaven.com for more breaks. I'll show you my belts that I've won. At first, I was a tag team champion. Then I moved on to the singles division, and I won the ECW champion. Like my all-time favorite wrestler, Mike Awesome. Then I won the WWE championship, but I gave it up. I wasn't interested in defending that belt. Got a bunch of base cards. We got three foil cards, including one double and a refractor type John Orton. Or, I'm sorry, Randy Orton. I was thinking of John from the UK. But again, thank you very much and keep reading wax7.com.